Hi, I'm Ewan Roberts, and you're watching Talk Norwich City. Here is going down, guys. Talk Norwich City here, back for another video. My first predicted 11 for a little while because of the international break, but my predicted 11 is about to come up ahead of the Newcastle game, of course, which takes place this Sunday. Um, not many changes in this team. I'm going to say that at the start. But I think that's a pleasing thing we've seen under Alex Neal. He hasn't changed the team around too much. And what he has is because of genuine mistakes or, or tactical changes. We've seen previously under the likes of Hewton and Adams, they don't really know what their best squad is. I think Alex Neal does know his best squad, which is fantastic to see. John Ruddy and Goal, of course, been pretty decent this season. Although, as I say in every video, I think Declan Rudd is very, very close to him at the moment. I think I really do rate Declan Rudd, and I think uh, Rudd will might be coming here later in the season. Robbie Brady at left back, I think he's been an exceptional player so far for us. Uh, probably one of our best players. Really good going forwards, but so solid defensively, and a bit of pace, which is really nice to see. These two, Passolo and Martin, have been fairly decent this season. I still think we do need a bit of an addition in that defensive area. But I think we'll be, we'll be making that in January. Um, I think Martin and Passolo have been fairly solid. They've made a few mistakes here and there. But considering they've had a big step up from the Championship, I think they've coped fairly well. And Stephen Whitaker at right back, uh, I really don't rate Andre Wisdom that much. Uh, so I'm going to be putting Stevie Witts in there. Now, this is where my midfield has changed slightly. Um, by the way, this is a subspect. We'll, we'll get onto that in a bit. Uh, but this is where my it's, it's changed slightly. So Matty Jarvis is still on the left. I think he brings so much to the team. Adds us pace and directness that we haven't had before there. Halson, uh, I'm going to leave in there. I don't think he's an effective right midfielder. I think he is a central player and he needs to operate from that area. Really didn't like him out on the right when he played there against uh, Leicester. Um, Alex Tete, I'm going to be bringing Tete in. I did leave him out in the last game. I put Dorans in there. But I think he's had a fantastic international break uh, and, and he's, added, he's, he's added some goals to his international team and he's so decent uh, defensively sort of in, in, in that midfield position. So I think Tete is going to be a, a sure midfielder for this weekend's game. Uh, Nathan Redmond on the right, you know, Newcastle are a team uh, in a losing mentality at the moment and Nathan Redmond is the kind of player that can really punish teams. Now, if you, get, if you give this guy the ball, he's going to be causing damage. Maybe not all the while, his consistency still isn't really there, but he's a player who can do damage and that's what we need against Newcastle. Where's Houlihan in it? He's going to be getting a lot of space against Newcastle. Not the most solid defensively conceded. What was it, six or seven last game against Manchester City? Uh, five of them to Sergio Aguero. So I would have thought Wes Houlihan will be getting a bit of space in this in this game, and that's when he operates uh, best from that number ten position. And then this is probably the most controversial position, as always, mainly because we've got a nice sort of rotation going on up, up front. Uh, and everyone just likes to see strikers doing different things. But I think Mbakani is best suited for this game. I'll tell you why. I think Mbakani this season, admittedly, has only scored one goal. Nice finish. He has added the most intelligent runs to the team. Now, I really like Cameron Jerome. We're going to be talking about it in a minute. But I think uh, Dia Mercy and Mbakani give slightly more than Jerome. Jerome is a fairly basic player for me. He'll do a job. He'll, he'll work hard. He'll, he'll run the channels nicely. Um, but... And Bacani just adds a bit more. He seems like a more intelligent football player. You can see that this guy has played high-level football. He's played in the Champions League, uh, in the Champions League. He's played in top divisions of other countries. His finishing hasn't been great so far. He needs to be more clinical, but he's going to be making runs, and they're the runs that you need. Even if he's making runs not for himself, if he's making runs sort of out left to create areas in here for either Wes or, or, or Redmond to run into, that is going to be, uh, that's going to be good. I, I haven't been that impressed with Jerome's runs this season. Not to say I don't like Jerome, he's a quality player, but he hasn't really lived up to potential. And, you know, we've brought this guy in on a loan deal, we're going to have to give him a chance. Um, so this is the kind of setup I'd like to be playing. Now, we are playing Newcastle, as I said, they're in a losing mentality. That doesn't mean, though, we're going to have to go like all out attack. They've got some decent players, they've got some decent attacking players, the likes of Mitrovic and, and other players. But when we're attacking, I really would like to see us just be ruthless. If they go a goal behind, they're gonna collapse. I'm pretty sure of that. But if they go in front, you know, they're, they're a decent team, they might be able to hold on. So a quick start is definitely needed. Now when we've been picking the balls up, 
in, in these kind of areas. Against Leicester, we just weren't quick enough of distributing it forwards. I didn't think we moved the ball quick enough. It was a very much like a Chris Hewitt performance. Halson and Tete have a massive, massive role to play in this game. They need to be picking the ball up uh, for, from these kind of positions and moving it quickly. When you've got the likes of Redmond in your team and Jarvis in the team, they've got pace. But it was absolutely crucial that these midfield guys really do start to move the ball a tiny bit quicker than what we saw against Leicester. Now, this, you know, this is the team I would play, but then we have got options. We've got Jerome who can go up top. We've got Lafferty who can go up top. We've got Ryan Bennett, who we haven't seen much of this season, who can play uh, either in here. You know, lots of people, not a massive fan of Russell Martin. Who knows, Ryan Bennett might be thrown in there. Uh, and also Graham Dorrance, who I absolutely love. Now, Tete's discipline could be an issue. You know, you don't want to be going down to 10 men. Halson hasn't maybe been as influential as, as others this season. Dorans is a Premier League player with Premier League experience, a good head on him, a good footballing um, ability. Could Dorans be the player to take on Newcastle? I'm not sure. So this is the area which I'm most unsure about. I'm, I'm certain Mbakani is the best player to be playing against Newcastle. Uh, obviously, this is my preferred eleven, so I'm not too sure what Alex Neil but will be playing. Um, Bennett, you know, you could chuck him in there. Is he ready? Lots and lots of options we can pick. But this is the team I want to see play. Um, let me know what you guys want to see. Do you think this is a suitable team or do you think it's absolute crap? I don't know. Uh, let me know. I feel like a poor man's Gary Neville doing this. Uh, acting like I know about tactics. Um, but uh, yeah, let me know in the comments. It's always great to see your interaction in the comments, especially on this show, because I do love to see what everyone wants to see, what team they want to see play. Uh, anyway, Preview, loads of preview co content coming up ahead of this Sunday's match against Newcastle. This is my preferred 11. Have a fantastic day and I'll see you very soon. I don't normally get starstruck, but Grant, it's an absolute pleasure to speak to you tonight, mate. You've just done uh, Tales for the City speech. How was it, mate? Yeah, it was really good. Um, I think everyone enjoyed it. Well, I think everyone will go away and join it. It seemed like it's good. Uh, obviously, a good bunch of.